side view of the line we're gonna be building. And one thing to pay attention guys is the flow. And we have an indication of which way the flow should go on our steam trap here. We're gonna omit the bypass, like I stated before. And we're gonna have a fill weld up here, which is gonna be our union, our coupling, I mean. We're gonna have a 90 here, steam trap, a 90 here with a, pu uh, a little pup down here for the drain. So, out here I took a random measurement of five foot and four. It'll give us enough space to play with before we cut into it. So now we gotta take off for the 90 and for the coupling. For the horizontal run, we're gonna have to take, take off for the 90, for the steam trap, and for another 90. And for our drop down, for our, our drain, all we gotta do is take out for 190 and we'll have our puff size. So let's go ahead and do that. For you guys that don't know, this is the most important tool in a fabricator's arsenal. Right here, the construction calculator. I mean, you could get fancy with the Pipe Pro. I mean, yeah, I guess that's what it's called, whatever trades type of calculator, but this, this will suffice. If you know how to use a calculator, this is all you need. All right, guys, back to this. So let's go ahead and input Let's go ahead and find our pup size for this. So we have five feet, four inches, minus 190, which is one inch and an eighth, minus the coupling up here, which in this case, we're giving it a half inch, minus half inch so we got five foot two and three eighths for our pup length now for our horizontal run let's go ahead and input four feet five inches minus 190 which is one inch and an eighth minus the steam trap which is three inches and a quarter minus another 90 which is one inch so for the pup we're gonna get three eleven Now for this one here guys, I hope you guys could do the math in his head because it's not that crucial. So eight inches and seven eighths. This is gonna be our pup size for this, for this little drop piece. We got three and a, uh, three eleven and a half pup for this horizontal and five and two and three eighths for this uh, vertical run. Now if we wanted to set it whichever way, maybe offset to the left versus the right, we could, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put it dead center. So when we go ahead and cut this piece, the three, 311 and a half, we're gonna cut it in half, and we're gonna have a pup on this side and another pup on this side, guys. So that's that. Let's go ahead and get this set up, cut up, fit up, and weld it. guys and looking at our, our drawing we're gonna have for sure a field well out in the field and all of this is gonna get built here in the shop so I'm thinking what is the easiest way to fabricate this without stove piping I know a lot of people like to stove pipe you know 
put one thing on another and then continue on. But I recommend you guys start thinking of what you're doing, what you're building, what's the quickest and easiest way to do. Try to roll out as many wells as you can, guys, or at least have them to where they're easier than in position, just so it can make it easier on you. You don't have to do it faster or anything, but it just makes it easier on you, man. And you're actually exercising the brain. So we're gonna go ahead and build this piece to this 90. We're gonna leave this 90 pending, and we're gonna go ahead and build this piece. And we'll be able to make this tying weld here and just flip flop it to weld top and bottom. So build this piece, leave this pending, this weld here, and then build this piece. Once every both pieces are done, go ahead and make the tying weld, and that's it. Pretty easy, huh? All right, guys, well, we got a really simple line to build. We already got everything cleaned up, like I told you guys. We gotta make sure your pipe is level. So, our level, you gotta watch out for your terrain too. My level is leaning towards this line. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Now, let's not forget, you gotta add the expansion gap in here. That way, whenever the pipe gets, uh, gets hot and it expands, it doesn't bust through the well. So it doesn't break the well, guys. So you gotta give a one eighth, one eighth expansion gap in here. So give yourself about an eighth. Go ahead and put a fuse tag in there. Alright guys, well I gotta turn it up. I didn't want to fuse it correctly, so when it got Let's make sure our top is level again. Ninety should be level with the pipe. Leaning that way, leaning that way. Go ahead and fuse the bottom of the pipe. Looks like it needs to go that way, guys. Give it a little tap, tap, tap the roof. I'm gonna put four cheese packs in there. Same deal with the coupling, guys. A lot of repetition. Level, leaning to the left. Just put it in there, expansion gap, don't forget. Eighth of an inch, fuse. That simple, guys.
sure it's level. Level on the bottom. Let it be. Now for this one here guys, we're gonna have to make sure our coupling is square with our pipe. And the way to do that, set your square at the face of the coupling and you're gonna have to measure the distance between your square and the pipe. Just give it an even number, two inches, Woo, inch and three quarters, so it needs to go that way. Go ahead and do that. Let's peel it to my eyes. Double check. Two inches. Two inches and a sixteen. So it needs to pull a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and fuse tech this side and this should pull it at 116 that we need. That is it for this piece, guys. So most of the prefab is done guys. Pre-welds, whatever. That's how they look. We got a couple more welds to do, uh, rolling out before we make our last tie-in. We'll talk some more about fitting guys. All right guys, well as you can see, this pipe is not level. We don't need to set a level, even though we still got to fit a level. I'll show you how to do that. So, we got our expansion gap. This pipe needs to be pretty close, pretty level this way. This is why we have this square right here. So if you've been paying attention to my other videos, I use this a lot. I actually cut the square to where this corner piece wouldn't obstruct me if I needed to do this right here. So you see this gap up top? We gotta bring it in closer to make sure everything's square. Go ahead and put one in there. Right, for the last fit before our tying, our last tying, guys, is this joint here. Repetition again. Mark it, give yourself about a name. Go ahead and tack it. Fuse tack, that is. Now 
I met you guys before I came in here. I used to always work with a helper. So, or, or a fitter in some instances. So it was really hard at first, but now I figured, I figured it out, I figured out how to work by myself. So it's pretty simple. That's why I'm trying to show you guys if I could do it by myself. Imagine you guys out there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alright guys, we're down to our last weld. We got our pipe level here and our 90. Oh, it needs to come down a little bit. But y'all get the point. I gotta level this 90 out and make sure this pipe is level to be able to fit our remainder going that way. Before I tell you guys more about the fit, this is a homemade tool that I made. Half a pipe, eight inch schedule 10 with a hole down the middle with an all thread. This is an extension I have. It actually just reaches all the way down here. But this is another extension I added to be able to clamp down into one inch. So it's pretty much a half pipe with some plate to wrap around the jack stands. And it helps with holding things in place. If I didn't have that clamp there, I wouldn't be able to level this out and tack it all on my own. So it helps. So now that we have it all set up, Let's double check our levels. That's level. That's level. That's not level, but we can still come up. And that's level. So we're ready for our first tack on that 90. On the top, we'll be able to level this out, tack the bottom, square that out. Square this pipe with this pipe and we'll be ready to weld. Bring it down some. 
Level again. Level right in cheer. Level right in cheer. We're ready for attack down here, guys. Maybe a 64th this way, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 